In this final lesson, we'll have a look at the three remaining columns on the mark sheets that we've ignored so far. The overall strand assessment and the strengths and next steps columns. To finish off, we'll look at the new subject strand individual report. One of the strengths of current thinking on assessment without levels is an increased focus on the importance of formative assessment. And you can see how the new SIM system will help us quickly identify gaps in a pupil's knowledge. But at some stage, you'll need to synthesize all this lovely formative data into an overall summative grade. Now, most schools are making this judgment as an age related expectation, and that's just what SIMS does here. Right click on an entry in this overall place value column and choose Select Grade for Cell. And here are the grades that we can enter. The highest grade is 9M, Curriculum Year 9 Mastered for Key Stage 3. It goes all the way down to Working Towards National Curriculum here at the bottom. For our Year 2 pupils, the decision will probably be whether to award one of the Year 2 grades, or perhaps an earlier one. We can look across all the entries for the pupil, using the colours as a visual indication, and especially using the Percentage of Expectations Achieved columns here. As a school, I recommend setting a policy, perhaps specifying the percentage achieved figure for each overall grade, something along the lines of a pupil will be secure in the year two curriculum if he or she has achieved more than 75% of the individual elements of the curriculum. Once we've decided on our overall grades, we can add comment statements to the strengths and next steps columns. These columns give us a free text box with space for a 1000 letter paragraph that's plenty for two or three good sized sentences. These comments can be used in SIMS reports that can be sent to parents, or maybe just used internally within school. Now we've added some data, we have access to the new Subject Strand Individual Report. Go back to the home page and click on Reports, Assessment, Program of Study, Subject Strand Individual Report. Choose Year 2 here, and we'll choose the last term for which we've entered results here, Spring Term Year 2, and then we'll choose our Place Value Strand here. I'll click Include School Expectations, and I'll click Show Progress. Also click Include Statement Legend. Now if I was printing off all the subjects per pupil, I would probably tick this box to print one subject per page, but I'll leave it unticked for now. Use the Student Chooser here to select Year 2 pupils. And I'm going to choose Sonia here. You can select as many or as few pupils as you want. After a short pause, here's our new report. At the top here, we have a star for each statutory element of the curriculum. The letter and the colour of the star tells us what Sophie has achieved within that element. Underneath that, we have a progress summary of where Sophie was at the end of each previous half term. So she was emerging across all elements in the first autumn half term and slowly made progress term by term until this final line shows us the same picture as the top line. Finally, here's Sophie's progress against our school expectations, the ones that we set in the mark sheet. Here's a legend explaining each of the codes and a final colour key right at the bottom. OK, congratulations, that's the end of this lesson and the end of this short course. If you want more information, you can of course contact your local SIM support unit, Capita or <coughs> an independent Sims consultant like me. Thank you.